what? You are gonna watch this video? Ah, oh, that's nice. I was just gonna stand here and talk to myself about tech news, but hey, if you're here, we can do this together. Alongside its super fast 3D crosspoint demos last week, Intel also announced the new Apollo Lake line of processors. It's an SoC marketed more towards affordability and power efficiency rather than raw performance, but it does have the same graphics architecture as Skylake with support for dual channel LPDDR3 and 4 and USB type C. We're probably going to see it in tablet PCs, notebooks, hybrids, and budget mini PCs. This is exciting stuff, guys. Get your wallet, get get your wallets ready, man. You're going to want to pay for that. Okay, here's something a little more interesting. Ubisoft says they're looking into what can be done in terms of punishment for players that abused a rare loot exploit in The Division. The game's first incursion, which is The Division's version of raids, launched last week and players quickly discovered a glitch that lets you breeze through the incursion in about 20 minutes, avoiding some combat and letting you defeat the final boss over and over to gain more loot. Now, even though this is a bug in the game, Ubisoft's code of conduct for The Division explicitly forbids exploiting any new or known issues or bugs, and states that doing so could result in account suspension or a permanent ban. However, pretty much everyone who's anyone in The Division has already exploited the glitch, with some users saying on Reddit that it's Ubisoft's fault their code is broken anyways. If Ubisoft wants players to play fair, they should fix it. On the other hand, The Division now has a ton of players running around with overpowered gear, making it harder for the rest of the player base and degrading the experience of the game overall. What do you guys think about all this? Sound off in the comments below. Is Ubisoft the bad guy? Is Cheaters the bad guy? Or are we all bad guys? Really? And the NAB show 2016 is in full swing, so we're seeing some cool camera tech getting announced. For instance, DJI just unveiled the Matrice? 600, pretty much the most badass cinema camera drone on the market. It comes with Lightbridge 2, DJI's new video downlink that supports 1080p video at 60fps from up to 3 miles away, and 6 intelligent batteries that give the M600 a 15 minute flight time with a full camera payload, or 35 minutes with DJI's own Zenmuse camera. DJI also revealed the Ronin MX, a universal aerial gimbal that supports a wide range of pro cameras. I guess we should prepare for more drone videos. In fact, way more drone videos, given that the FAA just made it illegal to shoot drones down. What? I don't care if them drones get near my daughter, I'm a whipping out my buckshot, I'll tell you what. And now, it's time for... Quick Bits. Nice. Low key. Thanks for your submission. If the rest of you want a chance to get featured on Netlink, send us a clip of yourself saying quick bits, lightning round, or snippy snippets. VR developer Ryan Sullivan thinks he's found the future of VR movement. Stick a controller down your pants. His rip motion system interprets the motion of the controller as you run in place into forward movement. So I guess we don't need giant omnidirectional treadmills after all. Just pants controllers. You may have heard of Barco Escape, a new theater format that adds two giant screens to the ends of the primary one, creating a super widescreen type of effect. They're going to be used with Star Trek Beyond, Maze Runner The Scorch Trials, and maybe more. I, I don't want this. GameSpot is trying to compensate for its falling sales numbers by launching its own game publishing outfit called Game Trust, but it won't try to steal creative control like other publishers. Sure. Remember when Ubisoft was just a small developer? Yeah, I do. Amazon is now offering its Prime Video service as a separate subscription for $7.99 a month, undercutting Netflix. You can also sign up for the full Prime service for $10.99 a month, but the $99 a year option is still cheaper. And Blizzard has announced it'll launch the latest World of Warcraft expansion, Legion, on August 30th, by which time everyone will have pieced out of WoW anyways, because they're mad at Blizzard for the first time and they just don't know what to feel anymore. News sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. Read this entire comment in the most monotone voice you can muster. Banana? Or is it Ban-Anna? Ban-Anna? Yo! If you're in the Lower Mainland on the weekend of April 30th and May 1st, great news! NCIX is having a tech fair to celebrate its 20th anniversary at Lansdowne Center in Richmond, BC. And the NCIX Tech Tips crew are all gonna be there. That's me, Jack, Julia, Anthony, not Esther, because she's busy having babies. Heck, even Barrett's oh, gonna show- <laughs> Barrett! Did I say you could- No! Get out! Oh. Tell him to come on, Skinner. 
a freaking... But even if you don't care about seeing us, which is perfectly understandable, you should still come by because there's going to be awesome demos of the coolest tech being shown off from VR with HTC Vive and Oculus Rift, to sick gaming rigs, drones, mobile tech, the whole shebang. Over $5,000 in prizes are up for grabs in hourly giveaways, and there will also be exclusive discounts at the NCIX Lansdowne store. So click here or the link in the description for all the details, and maybe I'll see you there. Right, you don't, you don't care. Oh, I get it, that's... That's fine. All right, that's it for Nailing Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Click here to watch more videos. Follow us on social media over here. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, thank you for joining me. That was much better than reading myself the news. But um, now I'm going to go eat lunch by myself. So. Well, hey, I'll eat lunch Barrett, with you. No, I don't want, I, oh, I don't want that. Come on, we, we're brothers. No, I, I'm so lonely.